Hey guys, it's me Blanche. Welcome to Feast in the Middle East. I'm actually on a quick vacation uh, before the kids start school and I want to give you some tips on how I shop for grab-and-go meals uh, before going to the pool because people try to con you. They scam you with all the euphemisms they give the food and uh, it's really funny to see how they label stuff as healthy when in fact it is tremendously bad for your body. So I, I'm all for indulging on trips, but I'd rather do that in a nice restaurant than with like processed foods. So let me show you what I'm talking about. There's a section here that says gluten-free, natural foods and dietary options. Like what a joke. The dietary options are all carbohydrates, processed carbohydrates. They're trying to fool people into thinking this is healthy. Uh, let me show you an example of what they consider natural foods and dietary options. So, uh, boom chicka pop. Popcorn with additional sugar, so eight grams of sugar. Wouldn't touch this one. Sea salt popcorn, this might be the best bet if you've got the munchies. Smart food, there's nothing smart about smart food. It's just toxic processed ingredients. Seed oils, lots of vegetable oil, maltodextrin, basically uh, processed sugar and oils. And yeah, do I need to say more? Simply Cheetos, really, really people, this is natural. <laughs> as far as brands, I guess Siete Foods is not bad, but still it's just processed chips. And then, oh, okay, jelly beans, plant-based colors, woo! with organic flavors. Wow, they're really going for the stretch here. Is there any sugar? Let's see, sugar. Yeah, cane sugar is the first ingredient. Don't fall for this, guys. Don't fall for it. It's such a joke. Gluten-free. Okay, just because it's gluten-free doesn't mean that it just doesn't stink to high heaven with 43 grams of carbs, four sugars, barely any protein. Yeah, no thanks, but no thanks. Oatmeal, oatmeal's okay, but again, it's just carbs. No protein, nothing filling with this. Of course, more carbohydrates, and this is my favorite section. They put gluten-free, so they make it sound like if you get gluten-free bread that it's healthy. No, it, it still has fat, sugar, carbohydrates with no good, good quality protein. So don't fall for the carbohydrate bread the gluten-free chocolate muffin. Come on, really? Just because it's gluten-free, people think it's healthy. This will do so much damage. And then they have, you know, these gluten-free bars, cranberry toasted almond, 240 calories, people, with 26 grams of carbs. You might as well just eat a Snickers bar. Just because they put organic brown rice syrup, which is just a euphemism for sugar, doesn't mean it's healthy. Caesar salad is a joke. It's just an excuse to add cheese and processed croutons to lettuce. It's a joke. And the dressing is super caloric. As far as so-called pasta salads, these are just calorie bombs, probably filled with mayonnaise. Just because it says salad, it doesn't mean it's good for you. What I would get is this salad. It's got a good combination of tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and lettuce. And then I would supplement that with some hard-boiled eggs it's a whole food so that's great a couple of eggs will set you will give you about 14 grams of protein 150 calories so this is pretty good and for additional protein on my salad I think this is great uh, prosciutto mozzarella so that's fine it's also a whole food and of course I get some fresh fruit so these are great fresh fruit cups I mean it's just cut up fruit it's a whole food right here the oikos just plain oikos, Greek yogurt, I think that's great. So add the, the fruit to the yogurt, and that's a hell of a lot better than getting these parfaits, which are loaded with sugar, right? They, they've got these uh, granola encased in sugar. Here's another annoying thing. I have no problem eating maple syrup on vacation, but it's saying premium maple syrup, but what is the first ingredient? Corn syrup and then high fructose corn syrup. Come on, there's like, like maple syrup is the fourth ingredient. This is a complete con. Don't fall for the fake 
maple syrup. So when you're on vacation, I hope these quick tips give you a heads up on what to avoid and what to go for. I mean, just because you're on vacation, it doesn't mean you have to put trash into your body. Save the calories for when you go out to eat and eat like an awesome dinner. And forget all this crap labeled natural and healthy.